Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mastermind. Um, so today I wanted to go through, um, for my server, I wanted to go through and just talk to you guys and teach you guys how to install the new Optifine 1.16.1 update. Um, I find that this information is pretty far few and in between for most people, um, but although it's getting more readily available, I wanted to go through uh, and go ahead and just make a uh, tutorial for you guys uh, and be able to post this on my website for all of my viewers and all of uh, my players on my server and my network. Um, so this way, you, we can uh, have a good updated experience um, and so on and so forth. Um, Basically, Optifine 1.16.1 just dropped, uh, I think it was roughly six hours ago from the time of me making this video, which is fantastic. I've been keeping updates, uh, keeping tabs on their Twitter. Uh, if you guys didn't know, visit the Optifine Twitter uh, extension app, Optifine. Um, so to keep updated, see what they have for updates and everything. This is a beta test of it. Um, although they did say it was stable, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how this works. Um, so very first two things, we're going to get right into this here. Uh, very first two things that you guys need to do when you guys are going ahead and setting this all up is you need to make sure that you've already installed or set up the new game version for 1.16.1 in regular vanilla Minecraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Minecraft launcher here get this loaded now if you don't know how to set up a new profile I'll go ahead and explain that here real quick too um, but if you already have all you need to if you want to just switch to it nice and quickly you can come down here and do the latest release as you see I had Optifine for 1.15.2 but you can choose the latest release and that should do it for you and then you just click the play button and that should set it up if you want to go through and custom name everything so on and so forth I'm about to show you how to do that what you want to do is you want to navigate up here to the top left hand corner of your screen where it should say installations and we're going to go ahead and click on that button we're going to come over here and we're going to click on new and we're going to name the installation and what we're going to do is we're going to drop the version down here. We're going to click the latest release of 1.16.1. Um, we can always click on the release of 1.16.1 here or the 1.16. I recommend always keeping it to the most updated. Um, game default directory, just leave it as that. That is probably one of the most important things. Um, it's going to save to your app data uh, system. Um, this is where this is important to note as to where uh, Optifine is going to install the files at so make sure you guys keep this set we can also drop down more options now just as a tidbit a lot of people don't understand or don't know how to do this so I might as well throw this in there for you um, your custom JVM arguments is how you can actually add more RAM to Minecraft. So if you're coming here to install Optifine, to figure out how to install Optifine because your game's running slow, um, you can do this in past builds that you've done, past um, uh, installations of Minecraft, that's fine. You can always come in and edit this, but you're looking at the JVM arguments. Your XMX 2G stands for the maximum amount of RAM that Minecraft will use during startup and during gameplay. As you see for this right now, I have it set up to 2 gigs. I recommend you bumping it up. Please keep in mind you need to know how much RAM you're using on your, your computer has in general. Um, if you guys don't know how to find that, I'll just leave it into that real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our file explorer here. Um, and we're going to come down and just right click on the PC that you are using and then click the properties button. You will see that your installed memory will be shown um, and minus 32 gigabytes. So then we can just close that out. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to bump this up to we're going to say 16. Now I can 16 G will stand for 16 gigabytes. Um, if you want to type this out, you uh, for megabytes, you can always type out uh, 16,000 MB. Um, so just keep that in mind. And you can always click the reset button if something's not working properly. But then what we're going to do is we're going to click the create button. And we see the test right here. Now, it is important to know that if you do it this method, you need to click that play button and set it up first. As I have already set up this latest release here, I'm not going to go ahead and click play on this test here. Okay. So, because I already have the 1.16 files installed on my computer. For now, I'm going to exit out of this and we are going to go ahead and we are going to navigate over to the Optifine website. 
bada bing all right so optifine if you guys don't know much about it if you don't if you're new to this you haven't heard about optifine before i definitely recommend going through and reading this um optifine is a fantastic uh, modification to minecraft it allows for a lot more customization it allows for a lot more control it'll help your game run smoother it'll help your computer run better while you're playing minecraft so on and so forth so that's a really it's a really really good solid tool so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on downloads here and we are going to click on the preview versions. As you see, Minecraft 1.14 is the only thing that's here right now. So we're going to click on preview versions. And lo and behold, there it is. We have the 1.16.1. And we also have the 1.15.2 download. Now, never click the download button here, guys. For some reason, it's just really spammy. So what you're going to want to do is for this install here we're going to click on the optifine 1.16.1 hdu g2 pre2 so this is a, a pre-build for it so we're going to click that mirror button there and we're going to click the download optifine 1.16.1 as you see down in the bottom right hand left hand corner excuse me um it will uh start downloading for you and if you have the uh windows um firewall up just make sure you click keep um, now we can actually exit. What we're actually going to do is wait for this to finish up downloading here. Now what we're going to do, now that's finished downloading, is we are going to drag it. And we're going to pop it right onto our desktop. Awesome. And I'm just going to close this out because we don't need that anymore. Um, now to actually install the Optifine, really, really simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and we're going to hover over open with. We're going to be choosing Java TM platform SE binary. Now, if you guys do not see this, um, it is very possible you will not see it. Um, that does mean that you do not have the most updated version of Java installed. There, I'm not going to go through and how to uh, install Java, but there's a thousand tutorials out there. I definitely recommend you going through and checking one of them out. Um, just make sure you have the most updated version of Java. And when you right click and click and hover over open with, you should see this Java TM platform SE binary option. Go ahead and just click on that here. And this little window will pop up. As I stated before, when we were setting up that previous installation, uh, we want to ensure that we are going to install this to the correct path. Wherever you created that version needs to be for this path so this is actually correct for me so we're going to go ahead and click install optifine successfully installed if you have an error guys go ahead and pop it down into the comments i will get to as many as i possibly can to try to help you guys out i want to make sure everybody has the best experience possible so we're going to click on ok and that's done so all we got to do now is we can open up minecraft and as you see it should automatically be selected guys okay um, you can now at this point delete Optifine off your desktop or off or out of the folders, whatever. You don't need it anymore. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So we're going to go ahead and see Optifine here and we're going to click play. Wait for this to load up here real quick. And we have loaded into 1.16.1. As you see, if it says modded down here, you have installed it absolutely correctly. And you guys now have Optifine ready for the use on 1.16.1. Um, I'm going to come in here for you guys real quick. As you see, we are, I'm actually here in my server. Um, and what we are going to do is we are going to come into the settings here. So we're gonna click on options. Um, video settings is probably the most important. Um, although Minecraft did add a lot of optimizations here, um, this will give you a lot more uh, in-depth performance. So we can click on quality settings and change pretty much everything that there is to know. Um, we can change the trees from fancy to default to fast. Um, I have a really good computer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on fancy. Um, I mean, you can change everything, guys. So definitely, this is going to help, really help you guys out. And not to mention, for my server, we do use a custom uh, resource pack. So make sure that you guys have Optifine installed and ready to go for when you guys jump on and have a blast with the amount of zombies that we have on our server. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was very informative for you all. Um, 
please like, subscribe, share the video, share this knowledge with your friends. Um, and I hope to see you guys on ODA Revolution someday very soon. Uh, all links and everything will be down in the description. So please go check that out. Um, hopefully, guys, this has absolutely made this process easier. You guys have a wonderful day.